Okay, and the second exam question, this question is trying to address um, how scaling functions or power law functions are linked to their log log form. So, in this case, we have a log log uh, plot of volume versus time, the volume of a tumor uh, over a function of uh, time, and it's log to the base 10. So, if the question in hand, the intercept is not particularly important, but I'll do a full explanation. Uh, for this uh, video, but for the shorter version, it's a linear log log plot that tells us that the quantity here in parentheses volume scales as a power function with the quantity on the x axis time to this fixed power of this, and the, uh, the slope is equivalent to this power. So we can tell that the volume scales with time to the 0.67 uh, power. So that means that if whatever factor by which t changes, the volume will change by that factor raised to 0.67. So if the time were to be doubled, uh, the volume would scale with uh, 2 to the 0.67, which is 1.6. But that's the quick answer. Um, so I'll, but I'll do a more detailed answer. So when you have a log-log plot, when you take a power function, y equals ax to the b, if you take the log of both sides of this expression, you get the log of y equals b times the log of x plus the log of a, where a is some sort of constant. So when you put this on a log, log or on a linear plot, if you plot the log of y versus the log of x, you get y equals mx plus c, which is why the slope of the log log plot, this linear plot, is equivalent to the exponent b. But if we want to do slightly more detail, um, so what we can write here, and then we also know that the the log of um, a to some base, in this case the base is 10, but the log of a is going to be equal to the intercept value, y-intercept value, um, on this axis, uh, or c here is referring to the intercept. So the base raised to the power of the y-intercept, and then the y there, will be equal to a. So we can write, taking the log-log information, we can write the power function uh, for volume and time as uh, volume will be equal to the base of the, of the logarithm, which is 10, raised to the power of the y-intercept times the x value to the 0.67. Oops. So, um, what we can state here is that the volume is equal to <coughs> this 10 raised to 1, uh, 1 1.18 is about 15, 15 t to the 0.67. So, um, yeah, if I wanted to write um, volume new in terms of the volume old, um, I can write. Uh, we're going to, in a sense, what we're going to end, do, end up doing here is going to raise uh, or double uh, the value of t. So the new volume, <coughs> again, this, this constant doesn't matter for this particular problem. The new volume would be equal to 2 raised to 0 0.67 times the old volume, which is just uh, the volume of time t uh, is equal to just v. And this is equal to 1.6 v's. for the question is recognizing that the slope of the log log plot tells you how the quantity that has been logged on the y-axis uh, tells you the power to which you raise the quantity on the x-axis and it's telling you this relationship again going back to this first line that the volume this linear, linear log log plot tells us that the volume scales with time to the 0.67 power so if you're given the change by what factor the time changes which in this case is doubled then the volume will scale down here to uh, that uh, scaling factor of 2 raised to that fixed power, which gives us the 1.6 feet.